Peggy 18. I'm always looking for a fight. A fight for justice. A fight for what's right. But at this point, I'd settle for anyone who doesn't run. Being a hero to the people has its perks. The fame, the fans, the fashion. I love it all, but a tiger has to hunt. I'm always looking for a fight. Sometimes, if I'm lucky. The fight finds me. is home to all manner of animals. There's skags, racks, and various things I call Jeff, because I don't know their- Help! We have talked about this, Steve! Jesus, H. Reindeer Games, my dude! Don't kill things when I'm on camera! hey -o. In the majestic, expansive sands of a world like Pandora, we must do everything in our power to protect the flora and fauna from the bandits and sometimes fault hunters that would damage them. Help! Steven, 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 listen, please. A chance like this isn't gonna come around again. Do not fuck this up for us. Don't you fucking do that! I went to bat for you with the network! You shoot at everything you film! For a lot of people hiring camera crews, that is a deal breaker, but not for me! I believe in you! Hey, 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 oh! Please, we don't say those words around here anymore because it might cause you a slight case of the dismembered dead s. Will we yet see a spider ant? A trash feeder? Time will tell. All we ever set out to do was become monstrously famous with minimal effort, but... Hey guys, what's up? Robbie here with World of Games, and I hope your day is going well. And I think this will brighten up your day big time. We've got some brand new official teases about all things Borderlands 3. Uh, so let's dive straight into the news. Uh, so first of all, Randy Pitchford has been very active with some comments about Borderlands 3. Recently uh, at PAX West, he said that 90% of his team over at Gearbox Studios is now working on Borderlands 3. This is really good news. You know, they've had some distractions uh, with other titles in the past, so it's good to know that they are officially now wholeheartedly focused on Borderlands as a franchise because that's what they're known for. 
that's really what they do well is Borderlands. You know, they were the ones that really kind of invented the FPS loot type genre. And then they became absent. And then Destiny uh, has kind of taken their place in a way, I guess you could say. But a lot of us really would like to see another Borderlands for sure. But I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering when would this game release? And when would we see a trailer debut for the game? So we do have some hints and teases as to what we can expect from this as well so take two interactive uh did say that they're highly anticipating a new title from one of their biggest franchises and they plan on releasing that in fiscal 2019 now the fiscal year of 2019 runs april 2018 through march 2019 so you could see that that would be a very big window of course for borderlands 3 to release i would expect my personal opinion on this is for it to release either fall 2018 or early 2019 uh, for them to try for that as a release date because they do want to build up some hype throughout all of 2018 uh, probably from E3 onward uh, to really uh, showcase trailers developer diaries and stuff like that dedicated to Borderlands 3 and that brings me to the next question which was when would we see a trailer uh, well, I don't think we would see a trailer anytime soon because Take-Two is busy with other franchises. Of course, they do want to get through Red Dead Redemption 2. And then I do think that the trailer would debut sometime in 2018. But teases like this, we would expect up until that trailer uh, release. You know, hopefully we do see some sort of blog post. We did see that behind-the-scenes tech demo, which made us all salivate, I'm sure. And we really do want to see more. But guys, stay tuned here to World of Games. For more Borderlands 3 as we get closer to uh, a trailer and when we see the trailer, I will have it right here on World of Games for sure. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you later and soon in the Borderlands 3 universe. What's up guys, it's Matt and welcome back to the channel. It has been forever. Today I want to talk a little bit more about Borderlands 3 and will it be the final game of the series? Now I have a whole list of things on why it could be or what could make the game is like uh, like super amazing. That could be the reason why Gearbox is taking such a long time on it. Now that's not a bad thing and I'm not blaming them because they, a lot of people do have a lot of requests for the new game and they have said numerous times that they are trying to foot, foot, they're trying to put everybody's requests in the game or at least make it like to everybody's standards. I honestly don't think they're missing a window, I just think they're trying to make the game as good as possible. But here is why I think the next game will be the best game of the series and possibly the last game. The first one is, we open all the vaults. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking. There are so many vaults on so many different planets, and that's um, going to take forever. Now, if you guys think about it, the game has been taking a super long time to make. And since there are so many planets and so many vaults on those planets, uh, or so many vaults, I meant to say, we could probably spend a lot of time with a lot more side quests and a lot more DLCs and all that other stuff trying to open these vaults and that could be the war like we somehow open all the vaults and then we also have to and then like the war is everybody versus the the vault monsters or something i don't know i think it would be pretty cool to see the entire game where in one game we are able to open all the vaults and that is that leads us to the next one planet fast travel what i mean by this is like we can fast travel from planet to planet this has been talked about and touched base on like tons of times lately a lot of videos that I see like about Borderlands 3 have been saying we can travel planet to planet. Not from Gearbox the themselves, but from pe from like people making theories. I think that would be pretty cool to do that, like to travel from planet to planet. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people say it's kind of weird and that it won't be good, but I think it would be awesome. The next one is many non-playable characters are going to be killed off. And this is kind of a tricky one to talk about because... Um, we have seen non-playable characters come and go, like Scooter, 
so the next game i feel like we're going to lose a lot more people and that could also le lead to the final game of the series and the next thing is i think there will be more than four playable vault hunters now if you guys didn't know if you guys don't know about the series in every in every game leading up to so far besides the handsome collection there have been only four vault hunters so i think other than the handsome collection we could get way more vault hunters and like not like at the beginning of the game maybe but like we can unlock some so like later on in the game if we want to like restart the game or something like true vault hunter mode we can change vault hunters i don't know it's just weird the next one is lilith or the siren who or sirens who try to open the vault will end up getting killed due to lack of iridium which provides their power to open the vault if you guys do not know Sirens are the only people who can charge the vault key and the vault key is the only way opening the vault But the only way they can charge the vault key is if they have a ton of iridium And that's what Jack was doing when he pumped iridium into his daughter and Lilith So what if they're trying to open all the vaults and like get rid of them all and they end up running out of iridium You guys might be saying that is pretty much impossible But what if it happens if we end up trying if gearbox does the thing where it's like we try to open all the vaults ever like in the game in one game then it's a pretty big possibility that we run out of iridium in one game <laughs> all right guys i guess that's gonna be the video for today i hope you guys liked it if you did leave a like and comment down below what i should do next also <coughs> so youtube doesn't get pissed at me i will be uploading this video on two channels mateo games which is my new gaming channel and then also my uh what's it called the, my main channel so that you're probably watching this on now or you're watching it on my gaming channel so thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe uh and i'll see you guys in the next one love over cycle